One of the things we're going to find is this new way of doing business is going to drive a lot of the waste out of healthcare. Now, I mean, think about it. I got an iPhone. How much waste is involved in? Oh, no, it, that's not our concern because they put it out at a competitive price for their particular market. That's not a question. In healthcare, it's a question because we have not been paying competitive market rates. So how much of what we do in healthcare is just plain waste? It's about a third. There have been numerous studies done asking the question, how much waste is there in healthcare? And they look at it from all kinds of different points of view and different ways of calculating. They all come up about the same. A third of everything we do in healthcare, we could do without and we would never miss it. Wow. Now why is this? It's because it's, a, it's, a, it's an industry that is used to getting paid for waste. Right? They're paying you to do it, so why not? Let me give you some examples. These are wasteful practices. Complex back fusion surgery for simple back pain is simply not medically indicated. I'm not a doctor, I'm just quoting from, there's numerous papers in JAMA, the Journal of American Medical Association, and uh, the New England Journal of Medicine, place like that. It's not indicated. We do $2 billion a year worth of this because it is actually a good way to make money, frankly. It's, and by the way, I've spoken to, to conventions of back surgeons with this exact same message, and they're like, well, you know, what, what should we do? Computer-aided mammograms. Seems like a good idea. Let's get the computers in there, you know, faster at picking out those tumors. Currently, it's about $220 million extra per year in cost. It's trending toward half a billion dollars a year. So, so how many tumors have they found extra from computer-aided mammography? They've done some deep studies in this. Zero. No help at all. Half a billion dollars a year down the tubes. Surgical do-overs, boy, those sure must cost a lot of money. Hmm, have to do something over because you made a mistake? Well, it turns out that when they've actually gone and studied what is the marginal contribution of mistakes, that is, how much does it damage your, your margin, your profit line? Actually, you make three times as much money doing a do-over as you would have made by doing it right in the first place. You get paid for your waste. Uh, implanted defibrillators, great, great invention. They're wonderful things. This is from Medtronic. You know, if I ever need one, my dad had one for years, great. But 22% of them are implanted in people who, according to the medical guidelines, don't need them. For some reason, this is preponderantly African-American and uh, Hispanics. I, I, don't, I can't even speculate why that would be. But 22% not needed, how much is that wasted per year? Almost a billion dollars a year right there. This is just, you know, I could go on and on. There's easily more money wasted in healthcare, eight times as much money wasted in healthcare as it would cost to simply cover all Americans. When you shift the business model to one where you make more money, you do better by having a better outcome, not by doing more stuff, this waste tends to disappear. So my book is called Healthcare Beyond Reform, Doing It Right for Half the Cost. I'm trying to impress on you that that's not an exaggeration. You get rid of a third of the cost just by all this waste going away because you were not paying for it anymore. But when, I, when you think about these technical matters, we can talk about, you know, specs and bearing loads and surfaces and uninterruptible power systems and all the kinds of things that you folks in the operations, the physical side of healthcare think about. I want you to stop every now and then and think about your kids. I want you to think about your parents. That's why we do this. This is, um, this is my dad in World War II. His job was to fly over the Japanese gun emplacements and take their picture as close as possible. I can't imagine, <laughs> I can't imagine doing this. Here's the last picture we had of him when he was alive. My mom was already not really there. She was 
far gone into Alzheimer's at that point. He died on the table on what was most likely an unnecessary, unhelpful operation to put in a mitral valve. These things matter. These things matter. They, waste matters. Waste kills people. Now, I don't talk about these folks, all these stories, because their stories are so special or because they're my family. I talk about them because they are so ordinary. Any one of you in this audience could come up with half a dozen stories to throw in a talk like this. I mean, believe me, if you do what I do, every time you go, you sit on an airplane or you go, go to a party and somebody says, well, what are you doing? He said, well, I, I do, I analyze healthcare and I talk about how to make it better. Well, let me tell you, and they pin you to the wall with their stories, it's all over healthcare. I talk about them because they're so ordinary. And I wanna ask you, is your mother still alive? If she is, my, my mother passed on a couple of years after my dad did, just a couple of years ago. What, what is her journey going to be like? Is the healthcare system going to help her or is it going to add extra suffering? Is it going to, is it going to be a good journey to a healthful, quiet end or is it going to be chaotic and unnecessary suffering like with my dad. What can we do to help her? What can we do to help someone else's mother, someone else's kids, children with leukemia, with head trauma? What can we do better? And cost is a big part of this. Not only because we waste cost by putting people in danger, but also because in healthcare being too expensive is simply a way of, it's a, it's a way of denying it to people in all the different ways in which they cannot access the system because it just costs too much. And that problem is not going to go away when the ACA kicks in on 1-1-14. We have to bring the cost of healthcare down.